Boy, oh boy, Dakota, that sounds like a beautiful forecast for today and through the weekend. Yeah, so far so good out here at Waldemere Park as uh, we count down to opening day tomorrow, the 2024 season. You know, typically at Waldemere, a new season means, you know, a big reveal, a yeah. huge new ride. That's not the case. Uh, we found out yesterday talking to Steve Gorman here this year. Yeah, there's a lot that's staying the same, and actually, that's good news. Here's what he had to say. Well, we have the honor to sit down with Steve Gorman today as Waldemere prepares for that big opening day. And there's a lot going on this year. Uh, new, old, a lot of the, the fan favorites are back. Admission is the same. That was the takeaway for me. It is such a family friendly spot here at Waldemere. Steve, can you talk about what's been going on? Obviously, since things wrapped up uh, last season and now getting ready to open up uh, things for here in 2024. Well, this is maybe my 29th season, so it's kind of routine now. So even though it's always stressful to try to get things ready. It's routine, so you know you just kind of live with the stress. But <laughs> we've done a, a lot of infrastructure things that won't be as noticeable to the casual person, but things will be a little bit smoother and more efficient in our operations, and we'll have better training for our staff. And I think that we'll have a, I mean, I'm looking forward to a really good summer. So I bet the excitement just continues to build for you and your staff members as you get ready to welcome the public back in. Oh, it's, it's, I always think of it like you're having a party at your house and you're getting closer and you're trying to get ready. Clean and clean, 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 and get things ready, make sure they're working right. And then you open the doors and you hope that people will be safe and have fun when they're yeah. here. Oh, that's fantastic. Steve, there are a lot of uh, amusement parks out there. A lot of them maybe bigger than Waldemere and spend a lot more money uh, for rides and stuff than Waldemere, but yet Waldemere continues to bring in huge crowds each and every summer. What is the draw for a, for a park of this size and hmm. just what it brings to the community? You know, we've thought about a lot this winter about who we are um, with Paul's passing. We want to look forward. What, what are we going to do in the future? And I think for me, we've, I've realized that Waldemere is like the community's amusement park. That's how I look at it. We're just the caretakers. And we want to make sure that it's affordable for people to come to. And there's things for people to do of all ages to attract them and have fun and and that's the draw. That's what we know. That's our niche. I think we need to keep keep that up. I've always thought it was really neat that you kind of think, well, we have this great asset. What good is it if people can't come and enjoy it? Mm. I like to think it's honored to hear people say that it's an asset to our community. And we, you know, I take that to art. So we want to make sure that we continue it. I love that. We're going to continue talking a lot more with Steve Gorman here on Erie News Now Sunrise. And we're going to take a couple of loops around. <laughs> Stay with us for all of that. We'll be right back.